This is a song by Gavin Hudson. Uh, it's a song about language revitalization. Uh, it's called Da Achtkam Dem Lip Al Aliram. It means uh, we can speak for ourselves. Da Achtkam Dem Lip Al Aliram. Da acht kum dim lip al al gyrum. Ho ho ho. When I was born in 1981, there were about 150 fluent speakers in this community. When I moved home in 2015, there were six, and now there are three. Our language is uh, in intensive care. And um, despite all our efforts, we are not yet producing more speakers than we're losing. Um, and that's, to me, that's the biggest challenge we face right now. You know, uh, the, the communities that have been lucky enough to produce a fluent speaker like Heidelberg, uh, where they can have a language nest, that's fantastic. But they had to create that fluent speaker first. And that's where we're at in Metlakatla, because we're trying to, I'm trying to become fluent. Um, there are others who are trying to become fluent so that we can have those programs before it's too late. Oh, the Lipal Al Gerum. Ho, ho, ho. Our languages hold ancient knowledge that can't be found elsewhere. And so much of our culture is wrapped up in our languages, that in order for our young people to truly know who they are, they need to understand and have some fluency in our languages. And the Klingit, Haida, Simshan languages are in a tough spot right now. And it's time to be all in on this effort. Uh, so for whatever Sea Alaska can do to, to preserve the languages, we, we, we want to be right there. I'd love to just take a class, but um, I have to help organize the class. And uh, it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. We're all having to do something we didn't plan on doing. And, uh, but it's the most important thing we'll ever do. Uh, if we lose our language, we lose our identity as Simpson people, the very word being that. You can't be Simpson if you don't know what it means. And uh, so I so I moved home. If we're successful with this goal of language revitalization, we'll give the next generation uh, a strong foundation of, of identity and pride that will that will take our people further than I could have ever hoped for.
So, in our classroom, it is a regular Juno School District classroom, but we take those national standards and we integrate our language and culture. And so when we do transitions, Mr. Josh will pick up the drum and the kids will sing while they clean, and then they'll line up. And so it is a normal classroom with national standards and that rigor, but we integrate. So we're producing very competent advanced language learners that can become fluent after they leave their program by taking classes at the university or even, you know, advocating for it at middle school and high school. So that's something I think about all the time because I, I know I'm not producing fluent speakers. And a lot of times I think, you're not, you're not doing it good enough, you know, like, we don't have enough time. We need to, we need to produce fluent speakers, especially when the admins come around and ask, well, are you producing fluent speakers? Well, <laughs> we're not, but we're producing confident um, language learners. A lot of them are advanced learners. Knock it on the wash. What I think this language brings for young people is an opportunity to understand the thought worlds of their ancestors so that we want uh, our young people to understand like if I learn this language it changes me, it changes my people, it changes the land, it opens all these doors in terms of my ability to be a protector of this land, to be a protector of this way of life. I was recently uh, earned a doctorate through the Kahaka'ula o Ke'ilikilani College of Hawaiian Language and was so fortunate to be able to go into their schools and into their language nests and see what they've done and to say, yeah, we could do that. We can, because you go from uh, Alaska can uh, say that they've recently reached above 50% graduation rate for Alaska Native people. And Hawaii, in their language medium school, has a 20-year history of a 100% graduation rate and an 80% college placement rate. And so for me, I say, that's what I want for our people. I always knew that I was going to return to Heidelberg. I wasn't sure when, but uh, it's even better so now that I'm at an age where I realize we can make th the difference that we want to see. Yeah, it's kind of like that Gandhi quote. You could do that in Alaska. You could do that in a small community, especially with an education and um, the right grit and drive. <laughs> The Haida Language Immersion Preschool started in mid-September and we chose to call it Hansi Nai. Hansi Nai uh, basically means uh, reincarnation house. We thought it was important to name it something like Hansi Nai because this is a place 
um, where we are going to kind of bring up our language from the ashes, right? This is a place to be reincarnated <laughs> for reincarnation of our culture and language. This Haida preschool is going to reshape the Haida youth of this community because they're not going to leave town not knowing who they are, what they stand for, and how to express themselves. They'll know in Heidelberg this is the way we speak. This is the way we carry ourselves. This is who we respect, what we respect, and why. It's been important to come home with it with this mission because we're all taught to give back to our community, to go out and learn what you can and then share it with your own people. And I didn't realize my time would come so soon, but no better time than today. No better time than now, as I've found out. When I get older, I'll teach the hunting eye. And why would you want to teach the hunting eye? To, um, to teach little kids what Haida means to us. And this is what we're doing with our language, with our, with our efforts. It's why we exert with everything we have to make sure that this beautiful thing that was made for us is going to be placed into the hands of our descendants and that they'll just continue to be Tlingit people and Haida people and Simshan people and that there's nothing that can measure up to what our languages can give us. Yeah.